Hello fellow Chaparoos, Chad here. Hey, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a compound butt joint. So this particular cut can be tricky. See, it actually has two different angles that must be cut at the same time. The one angle on the face of the board, well, this is the miter cut. The other angle on the side of the board, this is going to be the bevel cut. So I'm going to show you how to make this compound cut on the table saw. I decided to do this video because I figured if you're like me, sometimes reading how to do something, well, it can make about as much sense as someone speaking French. Ha 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 ha! Si tu me comme tu veux, deux fromages et tu vois. Now before we start on our actual workpiece, we're going to need a setup block. This setup block is actually going to find our compound angle. I've glued up three strips of plywood. Two are two and a half inches wide and one is at three inches wide. This wider edge is actually going to serve a dual purpose. One, if I had a solid wide block, well I'd first have to square it all up. With the smaller surface, I don't have to worry about it so much. And two, this is going to serve as a reference point for the following steps. Now this procedure, well it'll work on any angle. But for this video, I'm using 12 degrees. You can choose whatever angle you want. Now, before we use any power equipment, let's take a tip from Safety Dan. And now, staying safe with Safety Dan. Make sure you wear your hearing protection and safety glasses. This safety tip was brought to you by Staying Safe with Safety Dan. With the table saw at our 12 degrees, push the setup block lengthwise through the saw. Keep the longer 3 inch piece against the fence. Next use your miter gauge set at zero. Place the angle cut you just made against the face of the miter gauge. Without changing the saw blade angle, make the cut on the end of your block. Turn your saw blade off and then turn your miter gauge to what the saw blade was. Again, in this example, it was 12 degrees. Place the first cut you made face down against the table saw and against your miter gauge. Place the second cut you made against your saw blade. Now simply adjust your blade until it matches the angle on your setup block. This will be your compound angle. With your table saw all set up, you're ready to start on your actual workpiece. But you must follow this procedure. So as to not get confused, mark your piece top, bottom, out, and in. For your first cut, Keep the miter gauge in the slot to the right of you. Place the board with the inside facing up and the bottom against the face of the miter gauge. Go ahead and make your first cut. Now for the second cut, well, move your miter gauge to the left side. Without changing the angle of the blade or the angle of the miter gauge, turn the board over so that the out is facing up and the top of the board is against the miter gauge. Go ahead and make your second cut. To finish our workpiece, we still have to make bevel cuts on the top and bottom. Turn your saw blade back to that 12 degrees. Have the bottom of your piece going against the saw blade and make sure the out is facing up. After you made your bevel cut, flip it over so the top will be going into the saw blade and the in will be facing up. We 
where you just learned how to make a compound butt joint. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Go to woodchoppingtime.com for more great videos and stuff. Or you can follow me at facebook.com forward slash woodchoppingtime. Well, there's only one more thing left for me to do. It's time for me to dance.